Congratulations, you've pretty much set up everything you need to in the store to start thinking about launching live. And something that I have all of my clients do, no matter how big the store is, no matter how big, and I have multi, multi million dollar stores that I do consulting for, I always have them go through and do a test order. You will always learn something if you take on the perspective of your customer. So this is so important. Let's make sure all of those pages, the order processing, the taxes, the shipping, the email notifications are all set up. And not only just set up, but set up to your liking and customized to your liking. This is important. This is from the customer's perspective and we want an amazing customer experience. Remember, you cannot do this from a free trial. So make sure you upgrade your store before you do an actual test order. And also, of course, your test order won't be successful unless you're set up to receive payments as well. So make sure you set up your credit card processor. So if you're using Shopify payments, which most of you are to start, um, we're going to do the order in test mode, which is the easiest. But what I usually recommend to people is actually that they place a real purchase order with their real credit card and then they give themselves a real refund, etc. to make sure they know and understand how it all works. So by placing an order in test mode, you're not going to be charged, you know, nothing's going to go through, etc. The only thing that could happen is if you try to print a shipping label for it, you will be charged for the shipping label. So I don't re recommend doing that. So for your Shopify test order, go down to lower left to settings, and then let's go up into payments. And then we're going to want to click manage under Shopify payments, or rather complete, oh, whoops, <laughs> there it is, manage. and then you just cruise to the bottom and click enable test mode and of course you're going to want to click save. Obviously if you get error messages like this along the way you need to fix them. Alright let's try that again. Alright test mode is enabled. So you know test mode is enabled because it has this little banner here. Keep in mind when this is enabled you actually cannot use a real credit card to place an order. So I actually want you to go to your store now, add a few products to cart, make sure you pay attention to the user experience and some things to your liking. Let's add this one as well. You're looking at your cart page, you like the way it looks, let's proceed to checkout. And here's where the real test order work uh, begins. Um, this is where you put in your email, I'm going to fill all this out. This is where customers select if they want to receive email updates. So I've entered some of my info, and if you want to test your shipping for like a certain area, make sure you use an address for that area you want to test shipping in. Go ahead and click continue to shipping and check over your shipping methods. I have a flat rate set up here, and you know, make sure you like the way your logo looks and all that. Click continue to payment. So here's the deal. Um, below this video, I placed these. These are the test credit card numbers you want to use to check out when you're in test mode. You can put your name, make up an expiration date, and make up a security code, and click Pay Now. And you can even test discounts and just make sure it all goes through and you get the emails the way that you want to. You can also test um, a credit card number that doesn't make sense if you want to see what a declined transaction looks like as well. So after you place the order, you'll be brought to a page that looks just like this. Make sure it looks good to you. You don't have much control over this page, and that's okay. They do a really good job with it. And then next, you're going to want to come here to Orders. And you should see your test order in the All Orders section. It'll look something like this, and it'll say Test Order at the top. And remember not to print a shipping label for the test order, um, unless you want to get charged, which I'm sure you don't. And once you're done with test mode, you can come back in here to Payments, click on Manage. I got that wrong last time. And then you want to um, come down here and disable test mode and always click save. So now you know what you need to fix or maybe you're ready to go. And if you need help fixing anything, that is the reason why I started the Facebook group. Um, there's links to it below most of the videos. And make sure you ask me if you have any questions. So now that we've placed a test order, let's get in there and launch that store. Woohoo!